Did I buy another keypad? I did. I mean, DJ Khaled did say it best. Another one. Another one. What's up, everybody? This is Adam Platinum, the Azron keypad extraordinaire. I love this thing so much. I had to get myself a new one when I heard about the brand spanking new Azron keypad Cyborg Compact. From the minute I got my customized Cyborg, I knew I was eventually going to get another one. And since it's been about one year since I exclusively started playing all my PC gaming on an Azron keypad, I decided let's do another unboxing. As you guys know, I do make the Azron keypad a huge priority when it comes to my gaming experience, and I try my very best to use it with everything I play. Obviously, I still still love the button mashing and I love my console gaming. Don't get me wrong, it's really great, but nothing can compare to a PC experience and I didn't want to have any other experience like Azron keypad gaming. So before I get to unboxing this beautiful keypad, if you notice throughout the video you're enjoying the content, be sure to leave a like on it. You doing that would help me astronomically push my content out there to people that are interested in the Azron keypad or potentially something different when it comes to their gaming experience. If you did that already, consider checking out all the other Azron keypad videos on my Azron keypad playlist and subscribe to the channel right now so you don't miss future Azron keypad content. And without further ado, let's get to unboxing this thing. So like I was saying beforehand, this keypad I think is absolutely beautiful. It is my own custom Azron Cyborg Compact. I did try to go a little bit cheaper with this build because even though I love my Cyborg to death, I did want to see how much I could change the customization and how drastic the price would be affected. And honestly, it was a pretty big jump. Let's do this. As always, I love the packaging. I can't explain it enough. Azron, you have a really great package. What do you mean by that? It looks beautiful. The packaging of the keypads are always awesome. Don't change, please. Has its little hype quotes on the box. Best packaging for any type of interface that I've had so far, whether it's a controller, a keyboard, a mouse, etc. So I'm going to bust this bad boy open. Oh shit. So I got a little too strong with it. Took my strong hand and I ripped the box. Sorry, Azron, but we'll go ahead. We still unboxing this bad boy. And as similar to the last unboxing video, I also want to talk about the packageception, I call it. So I call it packageception because not only does it come in that sleek box that they always provide, but it also comes in this like secondary compartmental packaging as well. This is what keeps the actual keypad and keeps it safe from potentially breaking or some of the parts coming undone. I unfortunately did have a piece of my keypad that wasn't completely screwed in right and it was kind of just laying on the side, but I'm not a complainer. I just used the keypad screwdriver that they provide in the box and I screwed it back on. And without further ado, I present to you my Azeron keypad cyborg compact. Psych! Like I said, packageception. There's more to it. If you're new to Azeron keypad gaming, this is what they always do with every keypad that they have. They have the outer beautiful box, and then they have the exoskeleton box, and then they have the little device box here. So if you bust these bad boys open, it comes with the standard items, the cable that is needed to be plugged into either the PC or an adapter for your console, tools, the screwdriver that has multiple different pieces, I think three of them, to be able to screw in, adjust whatever you need on the Azron keypad, the restrictor rings for some of you more precise keypad gamers that like to have as much precision as you possibly can. I think Azron loves me because I did get two. I don't know if this is standard now where you get two sets of precision rings and screws for this, but I'll take it. Thank you, Azron. And last but not least, these analog sticks to replace whenever you wear them down. But if you watched my best Azron life hack video, I told you about these little silicone covers that you can put over your analog stick for any controller, whether it's an Xbox 360 all the way to a PS5 controller. And those covers will go a long way to help you preserve your analog sticks. Trust me. Uh. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, the Azron keypad. Oh boy. All white everything. It's not actually all white. For new Azron keypad users, they will come with this message. I didn't have this on my customized Cyborg from last year, but it will have this sign that says release screws before adjusting. So there are little screws on the back of the keypad that allow you to adjust it to your specific hand size and your fitting and how you feel it's comfortable for your fingers to move. So if you try to move these things without adjusting the screws, you will mess your shit up. And these aren't cheap. So do yourself a favor. Watch the Azron video on how to adjust your keypad or potentially ask me to make a video regarding it and hopefully we can both provide information that you need so that you don't break your keypad damn 
There we go. The second I saw that this was actually coming out, I was unbelievably excited. A big fun fact for new people that are interested in Azeron keypad gaming, these keypads are all 3D printed. They use 3D printed material, they solder stuff together, they make this awesome product, and it looks great. You see other types of keypads on Amazon, they just don't really compete in my opinion. It has the gamer look, it has the gamer feel, and honestly, it competes with the expense of a really decked out controller like this one. It's more durable, and it's just a new way to play video games man at the end of the day it's just how do you guys play video games and how would you like to play video games so if you like it a specific way play it that way but if you're looking for something new absolutely give this a shot enough with the jibber jabber onto the details so to start it mostly looks all white mostly white okay you choose anywhere from 24 to 29 amazing different binds from a variety of different angles we got ourselves the stereotypical buttons i'll provide some asmr here in a second i lied the top buttons right here, the analog stick with the D-pad here. I was trying to not get a D-pad for this build just to see if I could save a little bit extra money because for my PC gaming, I don't really use anything that requires a D-pad. So I tried and unfortunately I couldn't, but I feel like with how the keypad is progressing and how Azron is progressing as a company, it's just gonna be standard, which I think is completely fine because who knows, maybe consoles will be a little bit more friendly for people that wanna use mouse and keyboard and potentially this input. So maybe console players can actually use the d-pad for d-pad movements on console i will say it will be a different adjustment for me because i do actually kind of use the top buttons when i do this with my fingers especially for certain things in like call of duty or apex legends i do like to use my top buttons a little bit but i try not to go too far from the bottom rack i do try to stay close to the bottom rack so i'm just only doing the curling movement i feel like that's more natural for the human hand but that's the beauty of this keypad it's always for the user whatever you want on this keypad whatever button you think is going to be most comfortable for you to press that's the one you use. That's the one you integrate into your binds. Options are limitless. I feel like this brand goes out of their way to make it somewhat accessible for you, the user, and they make it in a variety of different ways. So even though it's all white, I did like the little bit of mint. I love the cyan, teal, those types of colors, especially for like the platinum rank in video games. And then my favorite thing here is the horizon, the custom horizon nameplate. Look at that. So beautiful. I love the custom nameplates on the Azeron because it gives me that feeling that this is my specific keypad obviously i'm not sponsored obviously i don't have a code by azron i would love to get a code so having that nameplate there it just makes me feel like it's my keypad more than anything and the reason why i have on my cyborg platinum and then on this cyborg compact i have horizon is because that's my community name the platinum horizon when i first started making content and i was streaming on twitch a bunch that's what i called my community the platinum horizon and even though i haven't been invested in streaming on twitch in the last six to eight months it really helps me keep that sense of community and where I've come with my content. So having that on these keypads, it's really cool to me, but I'm gonna address the big elephant in the room. Why basically all white, man? I really like the idea of simplicity and not overcomplicating certain colors or making certain patterns in regards to anything. It helps keep things to a minimum. Also a huge inspiration behind the color choice on this Cyborg Compact, believe it or not, was White Vision from WandaVision. I don't really have a philosophical or huge explanation as to why White Vision was arguably the biggest inspiration behind getting this keypad, this specific color. It's just so raw. Say what you will about Marvel stuff. I really, I just love White Vision, man. He looks so fucking dope. I cannot wait to set this thing up i would do a gameplay section within this video but i want to keep it strictly unboxing of the product and showcase to you guys the azeron cyborg compact before i forget i'm just going to do a little spinny spin Look at that. Look at the flick of the wrist. Also, for new Azeron keypad users and anyone that potentially bought the Azeron Cyborg Compact, they are not using the official Azeron software at this very moment. From my understanding, they are using ReWASD or REWASD, whatever you guys like to call it. I did look into it even way before the Azeron Cyborg Compact was even announced or released. But in order to get this keypad set up, I do want to use that software instead of the typical Azeron software because I feel like that might be better for the keypad in general and who knows it may not even work with the original Azron software i would have to plug it in and figure it out but i will figure out the re wasd software and i will make a video in regards to that for some of you new Azron keypad users there's definitely one on the Azron channel go check them out go show this company some love because they truly make an amazing product here this to me is what gaming feels like and what makes gaming fun for me i'm gonna be completely honest i am absolute trash when it comes to controller gaming i love it i think it's fun i would love to be good with a 
controller, but my thumbs don't work that way. And when I would play mouse and keyboard, I would just get so frustrated because for as skinny and little my hands are, I kept fucking up the key binds and I kept pressing multiple buttons at once on my keyboard. So it was just the right place at the right time that makes it to where I want to play video games with specifically the Azron keypad. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Azron Cyborg Compact. I cannot wait to start using this thing on my PC and potentially use it for console. My biggest step this year is to try and use a keypad on my PlayStation 5. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up the unboxing video today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Azron keypad video. This is becoming a staple on my channel. I love the content. I love the community. It's small, but it has so much potential and so many of you guys are asking a lot of great questions seeking out my advice giving me advice and making it that much more fun of a community to be a part of and i'm looking forward to the future of azron keypad gaming you guys take it easy and i'll see you in the next one see ya